Hi guys, let's get into the concept of energy in SHM. First and foremost concept is energy can neither be created nor be destroyed. Now see, this is, this is the pendulum, the bob would keep on swinging in SHM from this extreme back to mean to that extreme back to mean and would keep on happening that ways. So what is going to happen is one thing you have to keep in mind. See, whenever you find bob over here, it has been elevated by some height. So obviously we can guess that there would be potential energy stored in this situation. All right, again, when it comes back over here, it has lost its height. So, but energy can neither be destroyed. So it is kinetic energy, which is stored in this and which is pushing it there, right? Again, when it goes over there, there is some, if you just draw a line like this and take this portion, this is the height by which the bob has elevated. So here it would be having more potential energy and that potential energy would be driving it back to this place. So there is conversion of kinetic energy to potential energy, potential energy to kinetic energy and then again into potential energy back to kinetic energy and this is keeping on happening to and fro. So what? So there is conversion of potential energy to kinetic energy, kinetic energy to potential, potential to kinetic and back so so obviously we would be having two curves all right uh, two curves one for kinetic energy and another for potential energy obviously this is the energy profile all right at this point it's maximum energy and at this point this belongs to lowest energy this line belongs to maximum energy all right so let's begin with now at mean position at mean position we are talking about when the bob is at mean position what is the situation it's having maximum kinetic energy all right now we also are quite well accustomed with the formula for kinetic energy and potential energy these formula we had derived in our earlier video so we know the formula now so energy total would be energy kinetic plus energy potential so energy kinetic formula is this and energy potential formula is this now when we are in mean position when we are in mean position what x we know is the displacement this like for example if at this extreme x is a all right and when it is at this place mean position x is zero so at mean position we have got to put this as zero so energy kinetic would be half m omega square a square this a is amplitude all right uh, the capital a is amplitude so half m omega square a square this is e max and that e max is kinetic energy max all right so that's why we find that when the bob is moving this way when the bob is moving this way what's happening it is now this is towards positive direction that is towards negative direction when it is moving towards positive direction what is happening we are finding that kinetic energy is keeping on decreasing so let's check out with graphs so here maximum kinetic energy maximum kinetic energy as it keeps on going this way towards the positive direction positive extreme i would rather say kinetic energy keeps on decreasing and at this point at the extreme position the kinetic energy gets to zero gets to zero all right so that's what we see it stops here velocity is zero we have seen that all right since velocity is zero so kinetic energy is zero all right so that's what we saw now let's see what happens on the other side the other side also same way kinetic energy keeps on decreasing negative this is towards negative side negative a obviously we know that this is extreme position this is x is a amplitude so negative side also the same story keeps happening so what is happening is it's keeping on decreasing, decreasing, kinetic energy decreasing and comes to zero at amplitude A. Why it comes to zero? Because this X takes the value of amplitude. So A square minus A square is zero. So the entire stuff becomes, the entire stuff for kinetic energy becomes zero. All right. So keeps on decreasing as it is going that side towards the negative side. It keeps on decreasing and ultimately comes to ek is equal to zero at extreme position okay so we have understood this part of kinetic energy now let's get into potential energy thing now again let's start from mean position now see just keep in mind this way 
that when it comes over here it gains some height so it has to so potential energy has to increase over here nevertheless it is very easy for you to keep in mind because we know velocity stops here so kinetic energy is zero but it gains some height so potential energy has to be maximum over here it gains the maximum height that it could it's not going to go up there like right? it's not going to go up there so it's this it's going to reach till its amplitude all right so this it has gained some height owing to which it has gained potential energy so at this extreme just without knowing much we can just say since it has gained height what height it was at mean position at extreme position it has gained some height so it has gained potential energy and at the same time we know it stops here so kinetic energy is zero all right so now let us get into it formula wise so we are here right now we are here in terms of potential energy in mean position we are here in terms of location we are here at mean position and in terms of energy there's no height so we are at zero energy all right so let's go towards positive direction first so what happens positive direction as it is moving this way is gaining height now since it is gaining height so obviously it is gaining energy it is gaining potential energy now potential energy we know this is the formula for potential energy so simple so when it comes over here x takes the value of amplitude that is a square so that formula also for potential energy is half m omega half m omega square a square all right so maximum potential energy that it gained at this position at this extreme at positive extreme is half m omega square a square mind you this also was the same value anyways let's go to the other side other side of the same thing happens it goes like that potential energy keeps on increasing so potential energy keeps on increasing and at this extreme it gets the value half m omega square a square so this is one of the best example where we understand how the energies are being converted from one form to another total energy remains the same but as we go up like this potential energy is keeping on increasing whereas kinetic energy is keeping on decreasing potential energy is keeping on increasing and kinetic energy is keeping on decreasing same way over here also when it's going towards extreme position potential energy is keeping on increasing whereas the kinetic energy is keeping on decreasing and at the extreme the entire kinetic energy is getting converted into potential energy so the potential energy increasing kinetic energy decreasing and at this point the stored potential energy which was there is getting converted into kinetic energy and the potential energy is getting to zero so that's what we saw in this graph following the same line of conversion something interesting happens over there let's see what happens and how does it happen